everyone, my name is Vicky Aston and I'm a designer with CraftShipPrint.com. I'm one of the Australian designers on the site and today I'm going to show you how to make one of my easy 3D look cards. The one that we'll be doing is this one, the Bride and Groom Wedding and the cup number is CUP136469 underscore 543. Now some of the things that you may want to use making this card because it's a very versatile card. It was designed that it would be easy for people who have problems with their hands to cut out but there's so many things you can do with it. So some of the things you might like to use is some, some form of embellishment like flowers, ribbons, paper clips, you will need um, foam pads, you may even like to uh, add some glitter, a lot of people like glitter, so we'll just put those down there out of the way. The other things that you will need to make um, this sheet is possibly some sticky text uh, to put on it at the end of it. Um, I've used a ribbon, I've used some 3D foam pads, or your preference may be glue, um, some double sided tape, or sticky dots. How you cut things out is entirely up to you. Um, some people prefer a steel ruler and a knife which is what I'll be using today. Others may prefer a pair of uh, scissors. The other thing you'll need is an embossing tool or some form of scorer to score the fold in your card just to make it nice and flat. Now the things that I'm going to be using today is some gold metallic 120 GSM paper and I'm going to be putting mine onto a black card because if you look at the uh, design it actually has black and white featured in the bouquet and a lot of brides are wanting black and things these days. So let's get on with making the card. The first thing you do is you print your sheet out. Print it on a good um, quality paper um, a lot of you like to use uh, glossy photo paper. Once you've done that, you need to cut all your pieces out. Now, you'll see on the sheet you've got part B and you have part A. Part B is just a simple straight cut around. Part A is cut it out and then cut the centre piece out. Now to prepare for this card, I've used my gold metallic paper and I've actually done the edges on a cutting board but I've used a uh, decorative wheel to cut around the edges so they're just not plain straight and of course my card which I have scored and I have folded. One little tip when you're cutting things out, and I'll show you on this one, you can see I've partly cut it out, but always put your ruler, I'll turn that round that way, put your ruler on the outside, the, the area that is not being cut. The reason being, when you cut down there, and I'll see if that's come out, no, so I'll, I just need to uh, score it a little bit harder. Whoops, and my ruler's moved. Just score it a little bit harder. But, you'll see quite often you will slip and by putting the ruler on the outside, the part you don't want cut, you avoid getting little edges like this. And again, this one I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up, but again, you actually have that 
So just one little tip when you're cutting things out, always put your ruler on the outside of what you don't want cut. Okay, the first thing we've done is we've got our card here, scored and folded, and I'm going to glue down the gold, and I'll put my eyes on so I can see. And with this one, to be nice and quick, I'm just going to use some glue. And what I like to do, I like to have a piece of plastic for my glue so that it doesn't go on anything. So, take my pen out. And I'll just run some glue around. Quickly down the middle. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Put my pin back in my glue bottle. Okay, I'll put my glue on. Move my plastic out of the way for now. And I'll turn it down. Don't put your glue too close to the edges because it will squeeze out. You'll notice also that I'm not putting this directly in the middle of the card because I want to put a nice ribbon down the side. So there's my piece of gold stuck down. The next thing you have to do is glue part B on to your sheet. So just double check for sizing and again get my plastic sheet and some glue. Now you may prefer double sided tape but to make this nice and quick I haven't put my pin back in. Okay so we've got glue and we'll just carefully line that up and glue it down. One thing you can do too is um, to distribute so you don't get big lumps. You can uh, just use your ruler to um, run it out. Okay. There's what we have so far with our gold edging and our backing. The next thing we need is our outside window and for this one I have du stuck double sided tape on it so I'll just take all these off making sure that you get right up to the edges of both the outside of the car and your window okay. and this one last one Okay, now you just need to take a little bit of care and line up your middle window and lay it down and then just gently press it down. Okay, now like I said I'm going to use a little piece of ribbon so what I'm going to do with this one is I'm just going to um, put a little dog of glue on the end of the ribbon, right on the end, on the end of that one. Because it's glue, sometimes it'll make the um, material a bit um, bubbly. So I'm just going to, if I can find the end of it, I've got thin double sided tape and because there's a um, crease in the ribbon just to make it sit not all the way along I'm just going to put a little bit of um, double sided tape in there
going to take the longest time of all to do anything. There we go. Okay. So I'm just going to um, find a place that's not sticky and line that up. Put it down the side. Of course, I'm trying to do this quickly, so you'll have more time, you can be a little more careful with it. Just fold those ends over into the card, and that glue didn't go close enough, so I'll just put a tiny little dog more on, and fold that over into the card. Of course, when you're doing this, you'll be able to um, pin this down. This is not going to stick and dry quickly. There we go. And of course, once you put your insert inside the card, that'll all be hidden. But I've just got a ribbon and it says togetherness forever and love. Or you could just put a ribbon there with a bow on it. And of course, then you can embellish it however you want to finish off. I've completed a card here that what I've done is I've used the embellishment, the little paper clips, and I actually put them on before I glued that top sheet down. I put some sticky text on. I've added some peel-offs around the edges. I've put some little flowers up the top. And it just gives the effect that that centrepiece then is a little bit 3 d as though it's sitting back and um, maybe you've decoupaged it. The other thing you could do is if you did want even more dimension to this you could use your foam pad to put underneath when you're sticking down. So I hope you've enjoyed my easy 3D look cards. I've got several on there and I will continue to add more. Um, also take a look on this particular card. Diane Jackson has made this card up as a shaker card. So you can see that the card is quite versatile and can be made up in several ways. Uh, I hope you will take a look. Go to www craftsyouprint.com forward slash Vicky Aston and that will take you to all my designs. I hope you've enjoyed this version of Craftsyouprint. Thank you for watching.